Are you married? Do you have a significant other? Do you play games with them occasionally or all the time even? Or perhaps you just want to spend time with them in a different way? Hell, you don't even need a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, <laughs> cucks, theys and thems. You can just grab your homie and play what I'm about to show you. It is probably one of the most entertaining cooperative games that can be played locally on the same computer. That game is called VR Giants. Hello and welcome and welcome back to this dog ass channel named after the Soul Overlord me, Soul BC, otherwise known as Soul with the brain of a half eaten cat. You because puzzles really hurt my brain and it's really fragile, like my will to live. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you want more dumb shit, hit the big red button for more cursed and informative content. I know it's a weird mix, but uh, go for it. The game of VR Giants started production roughly around the year of 2018. But to get into the game, you know, let's do the normal routine, you know what I'm saying? Give you the synopsis of the game, not the history of the game, huh? VR Giants is a local cooperative game where one player's body is to be used like some folk on the hub, but not in that way, not in that way. Your hands and your arms to be more specific. Well, I guess you could technically do that too on the hub. But anyway, anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. That VR player is the giant named Goliath. That player using the pancreas screen, the desktop is David, the dwarf. Goliath is supposed to help David traverse chasms like nature's evil version of dyed Niagara Falls and Arctic glory plateaus. They have holes? I don't know. David is a little man that is human and not immortal and fire retardant, so David has to avoid anything that would take their last breath. Because, you know, human <laughs> compared to stone. <laughs> no! No! What was no! that? Goliath must protect David from those harsh environments and just be a giant dad watching over their child, basically. Only by working together and collecting the riches and keys can they be set free. What from? I don't know. But that's just what I read. <laughs> you should just play off the whole video like it's actually the whole game is that this little kid is like a sick psychopathic fuck who's like trapped and enslaved the giant and forcing him to help him become the richest man in the world, <laughs> right? Like if you take it with no context, that's actually kind of what it seems like because he's always chained to things. So for context, I first played the game with my fiance, then after some issues with her health, I guess you could call it, I played with Gramsci who were both using the mouse and keyboard as I played using my Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2, whatever you want to call it, via virtual desktop with the most deep fried microphone because I did not know that's how it sounded. Let me hit. <laughs> I spotted this game before on different occasions, but finally said, fuck it, I'm going to see how to get access to the game, the beta, to be more precise. After quick work on searching for the game, I traveled to the Patreon page for VR Giants and immediately became a patron because, well, I wanted to play the damn game. And I might st still stay. This game is currently published on itch.io, but... Even if you somehow got the game, you need the Patreon email and beta code to access it. It's an effective means of keeping it closed. However, when I was met with the email, I couldn't play it immediately. There was something wrong with the code, and as I was across the world from the developers, it took another day and a half just to get the game working, but it fixed itself, so I didn't have that issue anymore. So hopefully they fixed that issue. Well, obviously they did but I mean, in the future, that's basically what I mean. Even after the hardship of getting the game to work on my end, I still had a damn good time with my fiance and the Graham Cracker. Also during the gameplay, you may see some magenta texture placeholders. Those were fixed when I brought it up on their discord and didn't show when I played with Gramsci. As we played the game and progressed, it was running and working just fine. However, Isabella was feeling ill from the camera positions of the game for David. I mean, clearly I was the giant Goliath to which I couldn't attest to see what she was seeing. However, the footage you're watching made it seem fine, so I don't know. I'm obviously going to believe her because she's not gonna lie to me. But she stated that at some points during the game, the screen would turn black and was unable to do anything, or at least couldn't see anything to do anything more like. Another thing she mentioned was that the excessively changing camera angles made her feel a sense of nausea. So basically the camera angles weren't tame. From that, you could probably see why I didn't switch with her. Uh, the weakness to the eye exists with that one. Just kidding, I love you, Isabella. Gramsci also attested that the camera angles were not very cash money. Uh, apparently, it wasn't tame enough to work around. After I played with Isabella, Gramsci and I played until the level within the last beta, so I can attest to all of the puzzles, the current puzzles of the game. And they're all great. They're all fantastic. They're all amazing puzzles to 
do with your friends, your your lover, your family, whatever. It really gets the brain going. It really do be, get the brain going, you know what I'm saying? Even with this cashew-sized peanut brain that I got. I also want to point out that when playing with a person from across the earth, or the country in my case, or not really country either, he's like a few states away, <laughs> But either way, the only way to play is by using a computer application called Parsec, which is essentially Steam Remote Play, but not Remote Play. Uh, I've never heard of this application until today. So to get Parsec to work though, you have to obviously download the app and make an account with Parsec. Luckily you don't have to pay for it, but it's a whole process to get online to play to work, basically. Uh, after you open the app, you have to share your computer and give access to your friend by sending the shared link to that friend. Uh, once they accept, you can give them access to use a controller or mouse and keyboard and that's about it you're pretty much good to go you can now control your computer in this case david so the game is a puzzle platformer for two players obviously and it will get those p brains working again obviously I'll tell you that much. I personally enjoy the VR portion of the game, despite my fiance having some issues with her end. She said she still enjoyed the game. The puzzles are fun and engaging. So did Gramsci. Gramsci stated that he actually liked the game, despite having those wicked camera angles, of which you're not going to be able to see very often in the footage. So fair warning. Hopefully, if they watch this, they can fix it, make it more tame. I absolutely love the, that each character relied on each other throughout the game. It really adds a sense of communication and teamwork and I enjoy that it's a good game to play with your lover your loved one that's I'll tell you that much the visuals are cartoony and minimal which I actually enjoyed the aesthetic of as I was skeptical of it at first because despite me liking anime that cartoony cutesy shit it just isn't for me usually uh, the aesthetic though really really made it pop I guess it really worked basically the sound seems pretty standard for a game like this that relies on communication but the music felt as if it was just on a loop but that could also be because I was focused on trying to get my fiance and Graham across the levels in peace despite me trying to actually chuck them around at times I wish I could throw them I really do Make so much good content. Just pick me up, literally. Just fucking just throw me like a football. However, the, the sound design is a bit lacking, basically. The performance is actually fine. I occasionally got dips, but that was probably because of my virtual desktop on Quest 2. I have no idea. This is a new headset for me and is still a new beast to me compared to tethered headsets like my Vive Pro and Valve Index. So it could be my Quest 2, but unsure. I did get dips on my end, though. I Again, I, I don't know. It could just be me. Overall though, this game is a good game to spend time with your significant other or just to troll your friends, your broskies, your homies, your graham crackers. Oh, I was gonna put you off the fucking edge. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who would like to try a game like this, or if they can't play VR and still want to associate with VR, I guess, you can have your friend play on the desktop and you on the VR. It's it's a it's a good bonding experience for sure. That's that's all I gotta say about that. 8.5 out of 10 would play again. So to get the game of VR Giants, you have to go to their Patreon page, this is linked down below, and choose one of their tiers. Once you select a tier, you'll be given beta access via email within 48 hours. You'll also get the game when it's fully released if you paid up to $30 over the months when you became a patron, which I should state there are only three developers with some help from the outside. By the way, uh, they plan to have up to eight hours of gameplay so you can have some good fun with your significant other or your friends or family. You can play with your family, play with your mama, your daddy, do what you got to do. And once you get that email, you'll have to download the itch.io app, which if you're new to the VR space uh, is all kind of almost common for new beta games because there's games like Samurai Slaughterhouse, there's games like Lo-Fi on there that are VR compatible and that are, are not on Steam. So probably a good app to keep. After watching this Video, do you plan to do a game night with your significant other, your lover, maybe your frat bros, maybe your mama and your papa? Let me know in the comments. I also want to thank my patrons and YT members for supporting me. You have given me more pride than you could ever know. Truly, truly thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button so this can get to more viewers like yourselves and it helps me use my brain to fight the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. If you're interested in other VR content as well as hilarity, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to get notified of all of my future videos. And do not forget to join the Soul Chamber in my Discord. There you'll be notified and up to date with my content and be notified of any future events I plan to carry out there, like community streams and so on. You can also chat with myself and my fellow souls, whether it's about anime, art, or VR. Take a listen to the Compel Reality Podcast if you want to hear VR scuff and news. And one last thing, though, is to protect your David and keep your soul free.